everybody. Thank you for watching. Those of you that are new here, my name is Nini. Uh, Brandon won't be starting in this video today because today I'm going to be doing a first impressions review video. <laughs> um, today we're going to be reviewing the really popular brand that I've seen like all over Instagram, Fit Jeans. I got my package in the mail right here. I started to open it just a little bit. I was like, stop. I want to try these on on camera and tell you guys what I think. So I just really wanted to see what the hype's about. So just to start, I ordered these on Friday. It did come internationally and it arrived here by Wednesday. Super quick, so I was super, super happy with that because I, I mean, I think I'm not, a, I'm, I'm not alone when I say this. Like when you order something online, you just want it tomorrow, right? <laughs> so I was really excited to, with how quickly I received it. That's one. Two, I'm also really excited um, because the thing that I've noticed, obviously there's a lot of popular brands on Instagram and it's really, you know, what 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 do you like about the brand? Like what attracts you to the brand? And that's what I asked myself when I before I purchase anything. And what attracted me to this brand was everybody is hyping up the fit. They say the fit is perfect. It's comfortable. Doesn't even feel like you're wearing jeans. And personally, I hate wearing jeans. <laughs> I find them to be very uncomfortable. I mean, obviously I still wear them, but I think they're really, really uncomfortable. If I could just wear pajamas to work, I would absolutely do that. In fact, you can ask a couple of my coworkers, I have done that, but that's besides the point. Anyway, without further ado, let's try these bad boys on, or bad girls on. <laughs> All right, guys, so as I mentioned before, I started to open it and then I stopped. <sighs> so right now I'm just wearing sweatpants. I'll kind of like move my camera around so you could see everything. So I ordered two pairs from the company. I ordered uh, one that's a style like mom jeans, super ripped, and the other one I ordered, oh, I, forgot, I want to make sure I'm saying the right name. Uh, so super ripped mom jeans, and then the second one that I ordered was just um, high-waisted uh, ripped jeans. I thought they had a different name than that. Anyway, um, this one is in vintage blue, and then this one is in arctic blue. So. Oh, I'm so excited. Which one I Eeny meeny miny mo catch a tiger by the toe if he hollers let him go. Eeny meeny miny mo. Eeny meeny miny mo catch a tiger by the toe if he hollers let him go. Eeny meeny miny mo. Eeny meeny miny mo catch a tiger by the toe if he hollers let him go. Eeny meeny miny mo. How did that happen? I. <laughs> All right, so I ordered two different pairs to kind of like have some options. So I think I want to try on the mom fit jeans first. So I'm just gonna slip them up off camera here. I brought my camera a little bit lower for better angles. Okay. Wow. They really are super nice. So from first glance, I like so far, I can tell that they're really stretchy. The material feels really, really nice. It doesn't feel cheap, if you know what I mean. Like it's not like super thin. It's a really, I really like the Arctic color style too. I feel like I don't really have a lot of these, um, a lot of this kind of denim color in my closet. Let's see here. I did get these in an extra small. I tend to be between extra small and small. It really just depends on the brand. So um, I figured I just went go, um, I would just go extra small in this one just because mom jeans typically are baggy. They're not like skin tight. All right, let's get these, let's get these babies on. Eh. Eh. Hey. I like, they're so comfortable. All right, guys, so we got them all the way on, and so far, I'm liking them. All right, guys, so these pants retail for $132 before tax USD. It does show up in euros, though, and if I'm not mistaken, it shows up in euros as $119. So far, with the fit, I'm really liking it. They don't feel... I'm really liking the style. I don't know if they feel like jeggings, necessarily but they also don't feel like jeans they get like I like jeans completely they're way too soft to feel like jeans um one person actually said that it felt like tights like they're just like tights which i'm not gonna lie kind of freaked me out for a second because for 132 dollars i do not want to spend that on tights so i'm really happy that they're not like tights but these are definitely like super comfortable i really like the style i know like you can kind of find mom jean styles like anywhere, but like this fit, I'm loving them so far. I'm really digging. 
I will say though, for $132, these had better last me for a few years. <laughs> and that's just me being real. It's not every day that I pull the trigger on something like that. And, these, and as you can see, I'm really short. These are kind of long, just kind of, just for reference, I am 4'11 and a half. Don't forget the half, y'all. I'm just gonna roll these up to see. Oh, yes. And just like that, I had three pairs of jeans from this company. <laughs> Okay, never mind. Name that reference. <laughs> okay, guys. So we tried on the month fit jeans and I'm um, liking the fit. Somewhat baggy, somewhat slim. Still very sexy in my opinion. <laughs> Y'all see what I did there? <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow, I don't feel like I've ever been this excited to try on a pair of jeans. Anyway, okay, let's move on to the next pair. Sorry, I'll stop pulling around. <laughs> Let me bring the camera back up. So, the next pair is introducing the high-waisted. Y'all see what I do with the rhinestones? Check it. I don't really know what I was doing, to be quite honest. <laughs> I was just fooling around. Had a bit of a rough morning and wanted to get dolled up to feel good. All right, guys, so I just unwrapped the vintage, um, the high-waisted the fit jeans, vintage blue. I, um, re I remember I got the mom jeans in an extra small and I got these in a small. So we're gonna try these on, but before we do, I just kinda, kinda wanna show you guys, but also be careful with some back of my underwear. So here we go, this is what we got. Very stretchy as we can see here. And again, I ordered these in a small. Okay, not gonna lie, these are a little bit tighter. Oh my goodness. Okay, thank goodness that they're stretchy because these ones are definitely a little bit tighter. You know what's interesting? I think that the waist is a lot more stretchy than the pant legs themselves. Let's finish buckling myself up. And I'm gonna bring my, tam my camera down for this little modeling shot. Anyway, I'm done fooling around. Sorry guys, let me bring this down a little bit lower. Okay, can you still see? Gosh, it would really help. It would really help if I wore my glasses. Anyway, so these are the vintage high-waisted blue jeans and I got these in the small. Sorry, my mirror is like right behind my phone. That's why I'm looking off. They do retail for $110 USD. The waist is a lot looser than the pants themselves. Like, they're not exactly quote unquote squat proof. I know they're not meant to be that way, but there is like this gap at the back of them. Their waistline is definitely a lot wider or a lot more stretchier than the rest of the pants themselves. Okay, so first impressions. They are really comfortable. They are kind of tight. The waist is also really loose or stretchy. It feels loose though, just because of that gap at the bottom. I'm just being honest with you guys, like no hate or anything like that. I would have to say that the mom jeans are probably my favorite. Not that I don't like these, I do. But I don't know if I pull the trigger on this kind again. Definitely the mom jeans in like a different color, or maybe like a different style. Let me get some heels. All right guys, so I got some nude sandal heels to try on with these um, to see how they look. Maybe I just need to dress it up a little bit. I think I'm struggling to see like what's so special about these ones compared to me. I will say I do like how um, my shape looks in them. I feel like it really like kind of brings out like like my thighs and stuff. I, I mean, and if you know me, like like my friends know me, I love thick thighs, I'm all about thick thighs, thick thighs save lives. It does definitely bring out that shape. I do like that about them a lot so far. 
So do I like them? Yes. So let's just sum everything up that I just that I just said and felt and everything else. This is a first impressions video and I tried these on for the first time in front of you so this will all be organic. Am I in love with them? Not exactly. Um, I would probably not pull the trigger the trigger on this type again. I would most definitely pull the trigger on another um, pair of mom jeans. The reason why I like them is I do like how like, my shape look. I, you know, I think what's throwing me off is this little gap right here. Is it the end of the world? Absolutely not. I still really, really do like them. I just, maybe it's just the fit. I'm, I'm just, I'm not totally sure, but this doesn't take away from comfort. They are a little bit like tighter around like my thighs. Um, but that's just expected, I guess, like with skinny jeans, which these ones are. Again, it's just what throws me off is the waistline. Anyway, totally fixable with just the belt. It's not do or die. I am glad that I purchased them just to try it out for sure. And I can totally see myself wearing these at a night out, uh, on a night out and just dressing them up. And that's just me being honest, so don't hate me for it. <laughs> but anyway, I actually want to try the mom jeans on with feels down. Alright, let's do this. Okay, so I just put back on the mom jeans to try them on with heels. I'm not even gonna buckle them all the way. Ooh, yes. I'm loving. It's just so pretty and like, all right, so let's bring these down. I am kind of short, so probably gonna need to keep the folds just a little bit. Oh, I like, yes. These are a little bit long on me, as you can see. <laughs> Some say that like high-waisted jeans and stuff aren't for everybody, and what they mean by that is like they're not for like short people because it takes up most of your body. But cute. I do not care. I love like high-waisted baggy jeans. Like man, just pull me up. I'm just, <laughs> I can <just> hide. <laughs> All right, let me stop pulling you around. All right guys, so it is time to wrap this up. Do I think that these jeans are worth the hype? Yes. I never thought that I would say this about such an expensive jeans. Like I never thought that I'd be the one to buy really expensive jeans, but these are not like your ordinary jeans. I don't think I've ever tried on any jeans in my life that felt this way for as far as I could, I, as I could remember with the comfort they are. From the feel of them, like from, the, from looks, they're very flattering. The feel is just so comfortable, super soft, super stretchy, um, super stretchy. However, they're, you know, not like tights, which again, to me is a good thing. If I would have paid this much money for tights, no, no, just no, <laughs> absolutely not. As far as like the individual pairs, obviously I've made it clear the mom jeans are my favorite. I'm in love with them. And that's not to say that the vintage high-waisted jeans are um, that I dislike them. I do like them. I really, really do like them. I like the way they show off my, my curves and my body. I like the way they show my shape. That's kind of redundant. You get my point. They are super comfortable. The only thing that I'm in between on is the size. Like if I did pull the trigger again on the vintage, on the, uh, on the high-waisted skinny jeans with the rips, I'd be stumped on whether I should get an extra small thing because of how it fits around my waist or small because of how they fit on my thighs. And they weren't too, too tight. It wasn't unbearable. I've definitely tried on like jeans where it was just like, oh my gosh, this is so uncomfortable. Take these off of me right now. It's definitely not like that or anything. Who knows? It could also just be because I'm used to like a, like more of a slim fit type jeans, more, or more of like a slim fit baggy type jeans or just slim fit in general, not necessarily baggy. But I do like the way they show off my shape. The color is beautiful. Like I just I have a thing for um, also like light blue jeans. Like aside from mom jeans and baggy jeans, I have a thing for like light blue jeans. They just, I don't know, I feel like I'm, I feel like they look just so glowy. Anyway, that's the besides the point. You know, like I treat myself to a, a you know, to something like high end like every now and then, but like jeans, like I just never saw myself to be uh, the one who would do that. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but I'm just, I don't know, like, I don't know about anybody else. I can't be the only person that does this, but I put that shopping list on least expensive to most expensive every single time. <laughs> like, that's just how I shop. But with these jeans, I just wanted to give it a shot and see what the hype was about. We saw it, and quite honestly, I'm not disappointed. I wanted to see what the hype was about. I wanted to see if they're really as comfortable as everybody say that, uh, says they are. I don't do that all the time, and I figured, hey, 
Like they're really popular on IG. A lot of people have heard from them. Not only will I be able to see what the hype is about, but I can also show you guys what I think. True, honest, solid first impressions video. <laughs> and I cannot wait for quarantine to be over so I can wear these babies out. I'm gonna go film a TikTok video now and show these off. Anyway, well, that pretty much sums up this video. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I love you, boo, so much. As long as I'm in quarantine, I'm going to be trying to push out content twice a week. My commitment is trying to show up every um, Tuesday and Friday. Every Tuesday and Friday. That is what I'm going to try to commit to. That is what I'm going to try to show up. You'll either see me by myself or Brandon and I. We have a lot of things kind of planned of what we would like to do. But anyway, that pretty much sums up this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys are safe and well. Take care. Bye, everybody.